Hey everybody, Moshbeard here, back with some more Monster Super League. This time we're going to do a pretty short video, um, just showing B7. This isn't the team I use, but I want to show some newer players, even though I'm, you know, still kind of new myself, um, that are kind of breaking into that B7 role, that you can do it with a fairly consistent team, or well, a really consistent team, it's like 100%, but it's, you know, a fairly consistent speed, it's not super slow, um, using no Nat 5s and no exotics, so you don't have to have the light snowy that, you know, everyone's using right now. Um, obviously for good reasons, but if you came in after that or you weren't able to, you know, caught a million darks, but you never saw a light, which a lot of people had that problem, you can use this team um, and still do really well for B7. It's really good, so we'll go ahead and jump in here. So using a wood team, uh, we're going to go with Wood Mona as the leader because she gives 31% uh, increased attack power for Wood Astromon, so that's great. Um, we want to go, where is my Wood Anubis? Or Anu because it's it's Evo 2 so the Evo 3 on the Wood Mona the, for the Monarch um, Evo 2 on the Anubis there um, Him and then we want to go with Wood Cupid who you could use leader for increased health if you're for some reason It's gonna slow your run down some but it's alright. It still does well um, for the heals And then we're gonna use an Evo 2 Wood Fibian for the defense break So we'll go ahead and run this here You go to see obviously if you have a nat 5, like I use a wood Odin, I also use a light snowy in my runs. Um, when I do it, it's a, you know, it's gonna be faster, but not everyone has those monsters. So we wanna show, I'll show the gems at the end of the video real quick. Uh, well, I'm not, you know, decked out with superb gems or anything, so. But you definitely want the defense break in there. Of course, my Fibian missed it, but um, <laughs> that stinks. Um, to help out to speed up the runs, but hopefully he'll land it this time so we can kinda he missed again, so it's not the best. Water Shelly would be great here if you built a tanky Water Shelly, because um, there's no, it's a 100% chance, and the, you can worry about resists, but like the Fibian, as you can see, only has like a 70% chance, so there's even 30% chance that it won't even proc, let alone, uh, see, you get hit, you got the shield up, and the heal, and he still keeps not hitting it, so it's obviously gonna slow the run down when he's not landing defense breaks, there we go. <clears throat> and but Anubis, my well, he didn't get it. I was gonna say my Anubis will finish those guys off with a special this time, or is active, but he didn't get it. But he will this time. And uh, of course, the Fibian's active is also an AOE defense down, which kind of stinks to waste it right there. But <clears throat> there we go. I love the I love the animations of the Anubis. They're so much fun. Uh, but hopefully, we can go faster defense break this time. But guess not um, you see my cupid's already got heal up and ready in case anyone you know gets chunked down real quick resisted so that time he procced it but it got resisted um, here he should at least land one with his special here on the the aoe version and we got two down and two resisted so anubis should finish them off So cool. I just love the animation, sorry. Um, there you go. She's gonna heal up. We'll get the shield, which will prevent the debuffs as well. Because you can't be debuffed while you got the shield on. And then, you know, my Fibian's got the armor break up again, or the active, so we'll get some there. I'll land it on three people. Anubis has its special, so that should chunk these guys down pretty quickly. Hopefully they're all critting. He has like an 86% chance to crit, and you can see he keeps not critting, but, you know, he wrecked their face right there, so. And this team is really safe because even if for some reason something crazy happens where your Cupid, your Anubis, and your Fibian all die, the uh, Wood Monarch can solo the boss. Um, Granted, that would greatly increase your time on your run to like around 12 minutes or so, but it can be done if some, you know, things go epically wrong, but it, it's not going to happen. The reason you bring the Cupid is because that's not going to happen. And, and that's a video for another time, which I'm kind of debating is when is a healer slowing you down versus when is a healer actually speeding you up? Um, so, like, I could take out the Cupid. Um, and still, like, I could replace it with a Snowy and go faster um, for the passive heals and not as many, but, um, and she's not as tanky, but 
actually one of the teams that I run is actually taking out the Monarch and running the Cupid leader for the HP and then running like Snowy um, as another damage dealer. But sometimes you would say, you know, the healer will never speed you up because it doesn't really do much damage, it's only there to heal. And typically that's true, but in this case, like if the healer keeps you from your damage dealers from dying, it actually may speed you up. Because if I don't bring the, you know, dedicated healer, there's nothing to keep my guys alive. So then the monarch has to solo the boss, and then it could take a lot longer. So the Cupid is a safer way. It's also actually going to be faster when you don't have the greatest runes or any runes, gems or anything, because it will. You know, four minutes and five seconds, and that was slow because you saw on that first wave that Fibian could not land defense down for anything. And then you get, you know, a gem here. It's recovery. Uh, I don't really want flat recovery, so we'll sell it. But sell it. There you go. So that's the time. We'll go look at the monsters real quick. Four minute runs could be a little faster if my Fibian can land that defense down. Um, we'll go here. We'll go wood. Move this out of the way real quick. Monarch defender went on so plus nine HP percentage plus nine HP percentage plus nine HP percentage and she's on the conviction set for the resistance Cupid also on conviction these most of these like what's a three star plus nine flat three star plus nine flat like these could definitely be improved three star defense plus nine flat like those are just crappy runes but it does the job you know so I, I could improve those and make things even better but then we got Fibian um, also on conviction, three star, you know, or it's four star, plus flat attack, plus nine, you know, three star plus flat defense, and then four star plus flat HP. Like his runes could be so much better, which I haven't even looked into. I really should. Um, and then Anubis has slightly better. He's on the crit rate set uh, intuition. You got six star crit rate gem at plus fourteen because that's awesome. Um, you can see 76% crit rate, so still needs a little bit of work maxing that out and everything. And then a five star flat HP gem because you can see it's got 20.5% attack subs. That's that's pretty nice to keep them a little tankier. And then I've got a five star flat attack rune that's got 18% attack on it as well. So I mean, those could be better because they're not even percentages. I don't know what that is. Oh, flat HP. Um, but I needed the intuition set to get that crit rate up. But you can see the gems, yeah, his are 5 and 6 star on the Anubis, but they're flat. Like, the crit rate wasn't, but the, the attack and the HP were flat. Um, the other ones are using 3 and 4 star plus 9 really crappy runes. Like, that's a 4 minute run. So, I would highly suggest investing in a team similar to this to help, you know, get those runs down. I know some people were looking at, like, seven to ten minute runs and like the hundred percent oh this was hundred percent auto you saw if the phibian does its job better it speeds that up you know 10 to 15 seconds but even at four minutes for a starting team i think that's pretty solid um so yeah uh if you have another beginning team, those of you that watch that you think would work well for people leave it in the comments below you can definitely try it if i have the monsters i'm even you know showcase my own version of it and i'll try to work on their and stuff as well but that's a great beginner team. Four minute runs I think is pretty good to start with. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, leave them in the comments below, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mushbeard. I am out.